And earlier we talked about uh, the MIT versus Harvard position yes, on uh -huh. uh, the carrot and the stick. Now there's you are working with all these young undergraduates uh, from uh, the information quality program. So you're working with the post millennials, they call them yes. now, people who were born after 2000s. Mm -hmm. uh, they are data native, right? Mm -hmm. They, they, if you look at the app, the, even the apps they use, they are all about sharing, right? So they have a very different yes. appreciation of how working should be for a company. So. The people of today and tomorrow who will enter the workforce, they don't want to stay, stick around for 30 years in the same company and right. become like the domain specialists. The younger generation, they want to just jump into many jobs as possible and build out a network and mm -hmm. thrive on a network rather than being in one company. So that will also be challenging, of course, to achieve yeah, that, that goal. Sure, yeah. And in that way, mm -hmm. I think uh, the Sangi approach is yeah. maybe more something for the future, I don't. I know. agree. I think that you know a lot of our legacy traditional models are, are sort of breaking now, and and I would say without uh, you know not in a negative way that, that Carter's position sort of represents the traditional view. You have mm -hmm. to really yeah. push people, but I think going forward, Singi and and as you say, this new millennial generation, I see it in the students that we have, mm -hmm. are very comfortable around data, around sharing, and uh, and I noticed that. In the opening of the conference, and you were talking about the trends, that that's sort of driving this trend away from privacy to security. In other words, it's no longer that you can keep information private and, and you know away from people, be, become unknown as in the society. It's really a matter that you're going to share that information. Is it going to be secure? So I think we're seeing that as well in, in the young people as they're coming through yeah. the program. Yesterday we, we promised to come back to our CDOs and, and with some ideas yeah. on how we can actually continue the conversation. Mm -hmm. that it shouldn't be just once a year or a couple of times yeah. a year. They really wanted to have kind of a continuous feedback, maybe through virtual meetups. Mm -hmm. um, w what are your initial thoughts on that? Nothing cast in stone. Sure. Well, no, I would be happy to participate, and I'm sure uh, Dr. Wong, uh, the director of the Institute, would be willing to uh, participate in, in some of these meetups and maybe some of the blogs yep. and become more involved. There, there is a great network uh, of CDOs out there. There's some other things. There's an International Society for Chief Data Officers. I know you're, you're involved yep. with that on the uh, giving awards to uh, companies that have uh, excelled in that area. So there's a lot of organizations, so uh, the Calibra Collaborate would be an uh, ideal way to bring a lot of these things together. And I think one of the first important uh, meetings is in July, right? So, yes, the, so the ISCDO, so the International Society of Chief Data Officers will meet on July 12th mm -hmm. in Boston during the MIT CDO IQ uh, conference, yes. but we will provide more details uh, which you can find uh, afterwards. So, John, any last remarks? Well, no, again, I, I really appreciate uh, being invited to speak at this workshop, and I, I thought it was a great event, uh, the whole conference, and again, I appreciate Calibra's interest in education and training and willing to uh, collaborate with uh, universities and schools like the University uh, of Arkansas Little Rock and, and yep. of course, MIT and other schools. Mm -hmm. By the way, so one last uh, thing, uh, I appreciate your willingness to speak at the, the, uh, the next event after that. Indeed. In uh, October, uh, October 6th and 7th, we'll be having the International Conference on Information Quality at Little Rock, and uh, it's also sponsored by MIT, but hosted at Little Rock. and. Uh, Peter, I uh, appreciate your willingness to be oh a yeah. keynote speaker I'm for uh, that. Yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward yeah. to that event. Thank Great. you so much, John. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.